Father, the King of all Israel, ask and everyone to stand as we sing, We Are Soldiers. Mother Queen. The Queen. We have to fight. Oh, we have to fight. We have to hold. Oh, we have to hold. So much danger. We have to hold it up and never die. We are soldiers. We're in the army. We have to fight. but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and power and the glory forever. Amen. Congregational song. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk
everybody know we found the king of our Israel after the deacons to cover the doors and minister the altar as I pray the Israel prayer.
the song. Come out of that corner. Come out of that corner. Come out of that corner. And God appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of the Damaram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins, members. Exodus, the fourth chapter, the 22nd and the 23rd verses. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Remember. Lord, God, Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, the first through the seventh verses. But now this said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. And when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Remember. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, the 20th through the 28th verses. And the sticks were on thy right, it shall be in thy hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Remember. All right. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall, ha they, and they shall be no more two nations. 
Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. Members. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Remember. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Members. Isaiah, the 45th chapter, the 16th and the 17th verses. Acts, the 13th chapter, the 22nd and 23rd verses. Romans, the 11th chapter and the 26th verse. Galatians, the 6th chapter, the 15th and the 16th verses. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Members. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior Jesus. Remember. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Members. <laughs> For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy upon the Israel of God. Members. Let us keep our minds on the King of all Israel and repeat after me as we go through the prayer. <laughs> Lord God of Israel, there is no God like unto thee, and thy name is great, and shall and must be honored by all the true Israels of God. Help us to so die from this world and ourselves that thy kingdom can freely come to us. Help us to so be dead to the world and ourselves that we might be freely willing for thy will to be done both in our bodies and spirit. Help us to so love thee that it will only be thy will to deliver us from all that thou hatest and lead us only into that that thou lovest. Give us and teach us thy will and way each day as we're able to receive it. All the kingdoms are thine, and if we love thee, thou freely give and bless us with and in them. All power is in thy hand, and if we love thee, that will freely give thy power to us. Help us to so love thee that we can be the true Israels of God. For thou hast placed salvation in Zion, 
for it is with thy glory. These and other blessings we ask in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 We rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. We are marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching over to Zion, the beautiful city of God. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. Thanking him for our king, thanking him for our queen, and truly thanking him for each and every one of you to say it's truly a blessing to be on another Friday night service. And to say that, I just like to be thankful to the God of Israel. Uh, a couple of my family members have COVID, and uh, thankful to the God of Israel that they're doing okay. And uh, for giving me a mind to. Drop stuff off at the door <laughs> and remind them what it is they need to do. So I just thank the God of this for giving me a mind to be a doer or whatever it is that I need to do. And just ask that you continue to pray for me and my family, <laughs> that we can be strong in the God of Israel. Thank you.
just being very thankful for my life, and I'm very thankful for the king of all Israel. I'm very thankful for the queen of all Israel. I'm thankful for all of you all's prayer and sending out and just for loving us. Um, my sister is doing a lot better. She's coming along. Her oxygen level has rose to 60% this week. And then, you know, my son, Tori, he had the COVID. He's, he's overcoming. He didn't have to go in the hospital. And then when I asked him, are you going to get the vaccination? He said, no, my. So I'm just praying for him. Then, of course, I have my grandson which I know the God of Israel is going to make him walk out of there. He come up with something called uh, GBS that I've never heard of before. It's Gillian Brazierard or something like that syndrome. He's, his lines collapse. He's doing a lot of things. But I'm just seeing him walking out of the hospital being strong. And I'm praising the God of Israel for what he already done. And I know that he's going to make a way because he done made so many ways for me. And I'm just so thankful to be a member of the Spiritual Israel Church in this time. To know about a true and a living God that works through all of us. So please continue to send out your prayer for me and us. Amen. All right. I thank the God of Israel for my life, my health, my strength, and I especially thank you for our king and queen and our assistant pastor. And I'm thanking the God of Israel for my life because I've been all kind of ways, all kind of things, but I am really thankful to the God of Israel. And sometimes, the other night, I was really in a lot of pain. So I went to the farm, got out of my truck, and I said, this is holy ground, holy ground. Every time I say that, the pain just ease up. I said, when I get here, because I be in a lot of pain, it eases up. But the most thing is, one night I was to preach, and I almost couldn't make it to the podium. I almost couldn't make it there. And when I did get both both feet this time was numb. And when I say Lord God of Israel I want to preach right. I know this pain is so then I start saying my word I'm on holy ground. I'm, do you know all of that pain went away. All of it. So the God of Israel is so good to us, and all we got to do is take advantage and be good Israelites and watch what happens. All right. I think the God of Israel has many blessings he's bestowed upon me, nationally and spiritually so. And, and as I look back over my life, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I can say that he has brought me from a mighty, mighty long way. Now, I thank him for Israel. And uh, at, at any given moment, if I even began to doubt anything, it's gone. Because I know that the God of Israel is with me, and I know he loved me, and I know he would take care of me. Uh, the other day, I went to work, and... As soon as I pulled in the, in the park, there was a big car accident. They ran right into each other. And I thank God because it was a, a second, it could have been me. And I thank him, and I'm so thankful that no one did get hurt. And I just thank him for taking care of me. I thank him for get, taking care of my children. My youngest boy, he caught the COVID, and uh, he's so hard-headed. I told, he, he said he don't have no symptoms, he's not hurting anything, but I told him, you need to stay in. Mm -hmm. He said, I go out when I have to, I said, you're not supposed to go out. Mm 
But that's him. So I, I, I told him, it's up to him to let the guys just take care of him. And I know the guys just will take care of him. This generation, Bishop Bobby Davis, the King of All Israel, thank God he was the Queen of Israel. Thank God he was Israel the world over. Thank God he was keeping the time protection around me, allow no harm or danger to fall upon me and protecting me. Thank God he was also for my family and my, my children. And I said, you send out your good thoughts for my family and my children and my mom and my sister. They caught the COVID. Just such a good thoughts that they'll overcome it. And Israel, trust in the God of Israel. I believe everything will be all right. And I thank you. All right. It's not all right to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thanking the God of Israel for my life and the lives of my brothers and sisters, and for you, you, and especially for you, and for Israel the world over. And um, I just got excited about my my job, um, the my team. Um, you know, as a manager, you don't look for anything from your team. Your team don't give you gifts and all that kind of stuff. You don't look for that stuff on your, on your job. So, <clears throat> a few months, a few weeks ago, we had a, a get together, and I gave all of them a little trinket and a certificate and, and a card that had something special about them on it. And they, I guess, they were moved by it. But that's just what I do with my team. And then. Um, so we were just, we always talk in the morning before we get started on the job, and we were talking about cooking and what types of pots everybody have, and they were asking me, don't you have an air fryer? I said, no, I've been looking at one, but I haven't picked it up yet. And then they were asking me about a Dutch oven. Don't you have a Dutch oven? How are you cooking? You don't have a Dutch oven or an air fryer? I said, because I know how to cook with other pots of pans. So, you know, days went on, and last week, I ended up with an air fryer that was brought to me by my team because they all work from home. And then last Thursday, I'm sitting there talking to my team, and here come UPS delivering me a Dutch oven at work. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? But you know, I really wanted a Dutch oven and an air fryer. And I'm so thankful that they thought enough of me that they wanted to do that to me for me. And I told them all of them was going to get a whooping, and, but I thank them so much from the bottom of my heart. So it just lets me know that, you know, when you put it out there in the universe, you never know where it's coming from. Because if, if I was going to wait for Bobby to get the Dutch oven in the, in the air fryer, I'd still be waiting. But I thank the Holy Father for that, and I thank him for all the blessings that he has bestowed on all of us throughout the week, and my children, my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, my son over there in China, Everything is just going great, and I say. And at this time, I'm going to ask the deacons to cover the doors and the minister of the altar as the theme and scripture be read. And the theme for this month is come and be blessed. And the, the subject, the lesson is found in St. Matthew's, the fifth chapter, the first through the twelfth verses. And the subject is in the eighth verse, and it reads as follows. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into the mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger, and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye 
when men shall revile you, revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted the prophets which were before you. And the subject verse is in the eighth verse. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. May the God of Israel add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of the scripture. Amen. And at this time, we're going to have two speakers that come up and speak on our lesson. We're going to ask our own Madam Peggy, will she come and open the lesson? And our own um, bride, Mother Claire Williams, will she come and witness the lesson? Amen. Let's give them a hand. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all others. I'm truly thanking God of Israel for my life. I'm thanking him for your life. Thank you, Lord God of Israel. There is no other place I'd like to be, rather be at this designated time than right here. And just to say about this lesson, it just lets me know that I'm on the right road. Uh, I'm truly on the right road because I can bear witness to all of these blessings. But in our subject verse, it just reminds me that um, all all of these things that I have gone through in reference to, it's a blessing for them, opposed to it, it being a challenge. It can be challenging, but I'm on the right road. And the thing of the matter is, I just continue to fight to come in here, constantly being up under the word, being reminded that I have to more and more come out of myself and let the Lord God of Israel control me completely. Because the, the lesson says, the, the, verse, uh, the eighth verse says, blessed are the pure in heart. And I have a great deal of things that I have come out of, but I'm working on the building to become pure in heart. And I want to go. Truly, I rise to give back to the Holy Father, the King of Orleans. Israel, once again, thanking them for my life and the lives of my sisters and brothers. And to say that, what I get out of the lesson is, you know, sometimes you do things for outside show. But if, you, if you're not doing it from your heart, you will not be blessed. So whatever you decide to do, do it from your heart. Don't worry about man saying, oh, she did this or she did that. You don't need man praise. You want your praise from the God of Israel. All right, everybody, right, Holy Father, King of all Israel, I want to thank our own Madam Peggy here and our own bride, Mother Claire Williams, for so beautifully coming up and speaking on the lesson. And at this point in time, this ends the portion of my part in the devotional service, and it gives me great pleasure to turn the further services over to our own trusty Andre Harris. Let's give him a hand. I rise, give an honor to the Holy Father, King of all Thank God for my life. Thank God for you and your life. Thank God for the man of God in this generation, Bishop Bobby Davis, the King of all Israel. Thank God for the Queen of Israel. Thank God for uh, Reverend Mother Barbara for running such a beautiful devotional service. Thank God for the two speakers that spoke on the lesson, um, Superior Mother, Brad Mother Claire Williams, and um, Adam Peggy here. Thank God for the beautiful testimonies that we heard. Thank God for being here. At this time, we have seekers cover the doors and ministers the altar. Call for the youth, youth instructor. I'm gonna call Sister Carolyn to be our youth instructor. Here you are. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, to the King of all Israel, to be the youth instructor for this evening. Although I don't see any youth. Presently, I don't know if there are any on Zoom. Eric, do we have any of you on Zoom? So I'm going to say to the parents, just be careful where your children go. Most of all, we need to bring them to church. And I'm talking about me first. Very crucial and very important. 
who they are, so that they'll know where they're going and know how to go. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to call forth the instruction of Mother, our Mother, Shazetta Smith. Here you are. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. Say I'm thankful to be here and to say, if we have any visitors, we welcome you to the Spiritual Israel Church in this army. And to say to the families of Israel, take care of your bodies. Pay attention to the warning signs. You know, sometimes you get so wrapped up in taking care of other people, or you don't look after your own body. So you have to watch out and listen out for the warning signs so that you can be healthy enough Take care of your loved ones and to take care of those who need to be taken care of. The God of Israel will give you a sign, but if you ignore that sign, then there are consequences to be made. And uh, sometimes we have to pay the consequences. And uh, we, we will overcome. And uh, I ask that uh, you continue to pray for me, pray for my family, and I'll pray for yours. And with that being said, let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The nine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now I'm going to ask everyone to stand as we the Queen of all Israel, Queen, Elder Bride, Mother Vengeance, Gloria Davis. So I'll stand, please. Hello? Thank the God of Israel for another day. Thanking him that he's kept his arms of protection and love around us as we went to and fro and kept us safe on, on our way here to give thanks and praises to him for what he's already done. Sometimes it's easy to want more and more. But I want to take the time to say thank you, Lord God of Israel, for what you've already done. All right. What you've already done. And when we, I'm sure when we individually just think about the goodness of the God of Israel. Oh, yeah. What he, what, I mean, every day, as long as we're in the land of the living, the God of Israel is doing what he do. And we just want to thank him for that. Uh, let us give thanks and praise to him. Every opportunity we get. So that means that just any time, at home, away from home, because you can talk to him. Just you and the God of Israel, and I like that. So, Israel, let us not allow our being here to be in vain. Let's hear the words as we've never heard before. And then put those words into action more in our lives. That we can continue to be blessed and highly favored. Thank you. Thanking our queen for those beautiful remarks. Also very thankful for the words of our instructional mother, our um, mother Shazetta Smith, and our youth instructor, um, Madam Curly uh, Smith. As you take heed to those instructions, at this time we ask for a congregational song. Then first, let's turn to the hands of the minister in charge. Congregational song, please.
morning, Grace Miss Son. It's time for us to present the chance of the Moose in charge. On Reverend Jesse King. He, uh... Amen. All right, we want to hold the Father King Ball River. Yeah. Let's give the choir a hand. Thank you, ladies. Burn it down. I want the wonderful words you heard from us. Youth instructor, instructional mother in the Queen. Three bodies talking about the same and two in the living God. You're not gonna You know I like to be thankful for being a member of the Spirit Church in this army. All right, all right, go ahead. For meeting Bishop Hayward, yep. Bishop Wilder, Bishop AJ, Elder Garfield McMillan, and above all. It's a blessing to be standing here in the midst of Bishop Bobby. All right. Who demonstrate, I mean demonstrate the love and concern he has for his people. All right. And he don't leave it to no imagination or any doubt that he is concerned. Ain't that a blessing? Yes, it is. To have a man. A man that ain't so caught up in himself with riches and glory and power that he don't take time and humble himself to see about his people, about the God of Israel people. All right. Ain't that beautiful? Yes, it is. All over the world. These people get caught up in their own self and their own riches and glory and don't even think about the need and the concern of their congregation. And they demonstrate they don't care. Because when they need help, you can't call them. But we got a man today. All right. I ain't going to prolong the time. We're going to have another wonderful selection by the congregation. And then we're going to receive one of our own homegrown. All right. <laughs> Reverend Derek Barnett. All right. Selection right. by the congregation. Right. God got a blessing <laughs> just waiting for you. Yeah. If you do all the things yeah. he told Truly arise and give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thankful to be here. Thankful for my life, the life of my sisters and brothers, both naturally and spiritually. Thankful for my pastor, my king, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, my queen, Brother Mother Gloria Davis. Thankful for, um, thankful for the members here at number one. 
Thankful for the uh, overseer and his wife, the assistant overseer and his wife. Thankful for the Chicago Temple um, that truly took me in and, and taught me uh, what it is to be a servant of the God of Israel. Um, so today we're talking about come and be blessed. Now, as I was sitting there and I was preparing myself and as, uh, you know, the, the, the lesson says, setting myself, as Jesus had to do before he spoke to his disciples, you know, it's important that we set ourselves and get ready and prepare um, our minds to take it to that, that, that upper portion so that we don't dwell down there in the lower portion. Um, you know, coming and being blessed uh, should give you hope. When you receive a blessing, you receive some hope, right? And we know that our fundamental hope is life. So when you feel that you are being blessed, you feel like you can go on and you can go a little bit further. That there is a, that, that there is a brighter day ahead. Right. And, and the God of Israel is going to continue to be in the blessing business. You don't give up on that hope that things can get better. So we come to get a word that's going to give us hope that we can make it through whatever it is that we're going through. Get a word that we can give to somebody else so they can make it through whatever it is that they're going through. And so I've got some scriptures. Um, St. John 7, 38 and 37. Genesis 49, 2. Mark 12, 29 and 30. John 1, 1. Deuteronomy 18, 18. Amos 3, 7. Isaiah 44, 26. Second Corinthians 3, 17. Isaiah 61, 1. John 11, 25. Ezekiel 18, 31 and 32. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Then let's get our subject verse, Matthew 5, 8. And then Revelations 21, 3 and 4. All right. So we're talking about come and be blessed. We talk about you have to do something. You have to believe on something. You have to want something. And that's why our foundation scripture says, he that believeth on me. And we're talking about believeth on me because I'm the one standing here in front of you today. I'm the one that was, that was asked to give the message today. I, you, know, it, it, you know, and it's, it's a great thing to be called out of the bullpen. You know, uh, that means that the man of God in this generation has trust in you. Because it is a big responsibility to give the bread of life to God's people. And it's an honor and a privilege to be asked to do so. So he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of you shall flow rivers of living water. So we're coming back to that word of hope. When out of you is flowing some hope, he hope out of you is going to flow some strength, some understanding. Read. In the last day. That great day of the thief. So we're talking about that last day. We're talking about the day that you that you don't know if you can take it anymore. That last day, say, so you know what? I'm going, I'm going to bust if something doesn't change. I've hit my bottom. I've got it. something different has got to happen in my life. And that last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried and saying in that day, but I'm standing here today crying. If you are thirsting for a change in your life, if you hit that bottom and you want to you want to rebound and come back up, go ahead and read. Let them come unto me and drink. So you gotta thirst for this change. You gotta want to change. You gotta want you gotta want to make a difference in your life and somebody else's life. We gotta be willing to do something different. Go ahead and read. 
So gather yourself together. And when I say gather yourself together, bring it all with you. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, bring it all with you and lay it at the altar. Put it down. Say, Lord God of Israel, I'm bringing this to you so you can take it. I can no longer carry these things with me. I no longer want to treat my brothers and sisters the same way. I no longer want to talk the same. I don't want to act the same. I want to be different. I want to walk in your light. So gather it all together. Don't leave it at home with you and go back to it. Bring it here. Bring it here to the, to the spiritual the church and tell me. And leave here. Gather yourself together. And hear ye sons of Jacob. So bring your fleshly self here. Okay? Hear ye sons of Jacob. Go ahead. And hearken unto Israel. Your father. So we talk about hearken unto that spirit that is being spoken unto you over the pulpit. Read. And Jesus answered him. The first of all the commandments is. Hear, O Israel. So when you've laid it all down, you've got to sit there. You've got to hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. There's one Lord. All these stories you read about in the Bible, they are true in that time. And you can apply them and let them manifest with you in this day and time right now. Read. And, it's, and, and, and in order to receive those blessings, the, 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 um, the process has not changed. Thou hast thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. So you got to love it with all that you've got. And we're talking about the words that are being preached to you. We're talking about the God of Israel and how he presents himself to the people through a body. Because what? That which was from the beginning, from the beginning which we have heard, which we have heard, we got John 1 1. No, just regular John. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. Because we're talking about hearing all Israel. And what do we have to hear? Coming from the body. Because in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word that was in the beginning, with God, and all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made. Go down to the 14th verse. And then the word was made flesh. So this word is going to be given to you through a body. Was made flesh, and will dwell among us. Will be held to his glory. The glory of his only begotten. We're talking about the man of God in this generation. Go ahead, read. Give me Deuteronomy 18, 18. So we're talking about that word that was that was made flesh. We're talking about I'll raise him up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee. He said, I'm gonna put my word, and the word is the God of Israel. He's gonna put his word in the man of God, and, it's, and he shall speak to him. All that I shall command him. Because why? Because surely the Lord God is not going to do anything but he revealeth his secret unto his servant, the prophet. We have to feel comfortable coming to the man of God in this generation. If we got a certain problem or issue, the man of God is equipped with it to be able to handle whatever it is that you got going on. Without judgment, all right, without, without disdain, we have to feel comfortable coming to our man. And then we also have to feel, feel comfortable going to our pastors. Because he's given us pastors according to his own heart. Right. These are people that he has chosen and, and, and chose to lead the people in that part of the vineyard. Go ahead and read. Isaiah 44, 26. That confirmeth the word of his servant. That confirmeth the word of his servant. And performeth the counsel of his message. So, you know, I'm here to confirm the word of the servant of the God of Israel in this generation. All right. I'm here to take his word with me wherever I go. Read. The counsel of his messengers. The counsel of his messengers. The say unto Jerusalem. We're talking about we're talking about the vineyards of the spiritual Israel church and his army. Go ahead and read. Thou shalt be inhabited. Thou shalt be inhabited. And to the cities of Judah. We're going to build something up. We're going to build something up naturally. And we're going to build something up spiritually. And we build something up spiritually, that things and things of the world are no longer going to affect us. We have a natural defense against those things. Go ahead and read. And I will raise up the decayed things thereof. And I will raise up those things in you that you thought you could never get rid of. I'll raise up those things and build you a new heart and a new spirit. Go ahead and read. Now the Lord is that spirit. 
Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, so the man of God has spoken the word and he's given it to his, to his ministers to preach on. Right? And where the word of that spirit is, there is liberty. So as long as we take the word of the king with us, we can be free from a lot of things. Go ahead and read. So that's why I can say the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good times. He's given me a job to do. And the job, and you know what? In the stories in the Bible, when you run from your job that the God of Israel has given you, you go, no matter how much you think you're going to run from it, eventually you're going to end up doing it. If the God of Israel keeps you, right? If he doesn't dis, dis, discard you, if he keeps you, eventually you're going to end up doing it. All right. You know, and, 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 and my pastor in Chicago, she talks about how um, she was asked by three kings to be the pastor of Chicago. Eventually, you're going to do it. All right. And when you get into that position, you're going to say, you know what? The Lord God is with me. And I can do this job that he gave me. You know, you can let go of yourself and all your doubts and concerns and know that you become a great person for the God of Israel. She's a great pastor out there in Chicago. All right. You know what I'm saying? But you can't run from it. If the God of Israel has ordained you to do something, he's keeping you around, you're going to end up doing it. Go ahead and read. Preach good tidings unto the meek. Sent me to bind up the broken heart. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Those things that you think you've been holding on to for 25, 30 years. Things that you, things that, that you didn't, never thought you'd get by. There's liberty in this word. There's liberty, liberty in the God of Israel. There's liberty in the loving and serving one another. There's liberty in attending your service and being on time and paying your tithes. There's liberty in that. Go ahead and read. The opening of the prisons. To them that are bound. So he's going to open up those gates for you to be able to walk out of those things that, you, that, that, that had you trapped. Go ahead and read. And Jesus said unto her, and I'm saying it today because Jesus was in his day. Jesus said unto her, these words are your resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me right here and right now in me through he Though you were dead and sitting around with no hope, right? We talked about that death. Death is sitting around with no hope, going into a downward spiral. Read. Yet shall ye live. Yet shall ye live. Go ahead and read. Give me the next one. We gonna live. We go. We gonna have some hope. Go ahead and read. So we got to cast away from you all your transgressions. Whereby? So if you want to have some hope, you can't have some hope in doing the things that you always used to do. You got to change your ways. You got to change the way you think. Cast away from you all your transgressions. Where you have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. Get different priorities in your life. Go ahead and read. Well, why would you die, O house of Israel? Because the God of Israel has no pleasure in him to die. Say the Lord God. Therefore, turn yourself. Decide that you want to be different. Decide you want to try a different path. And live. Go ahead and read. And live with these fruits of the Spirit. It's love. You're going to love a little bit harder. Joy. You're going to have joy in times of confusion. Peace. You're going to be able to go through some things. You're going to be able to be gentle. You're going to be able to be good. You're going to have some faith. You're going to have some meekness. You're going to be able to hold your temper. Against such, there is no law. You know, and, and, and these are things that we have to work on. And we have to be able to recognize it when it comes up. We have to be able to recognize that when we lose our temper, then that ain't the fruit of the Spirit. And we have to understand that if we eat of the fruits of the Spirit, it's going to prolong our lives. So, you know, when we lose our temper... You got to think about me. I could have just cut two years off my life. You know, so we got we got to recognize it when it's happening and begin to repent. All right. We got to begin to acknowledge what we did. All right. And come back and talk to the God of Israel and talk to that person. All right. Go ahead and read. Blessed are the pure in heart. Because that's the way we're going to clean ourselves up is that then we recognize we've done something wrong. Because it's a lot to recognize when you've done something wrong. Because when you recognize within yourself, especially when you recognize it out loud, 
and let everybody know that I did something wrong, it was me, you're going to start purifying yourself. Because, you, you know, you don't want to keep, you know, talking about, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have lost my temper, you know, and you losing your temper every other day, you know. There ought to be something different happening. Go ahead and read. For they shall see God. For they shall see God. So once we clean up all these impurities within us, we're going to be able to see the God of Israel in one another. And when we see the God of Israel in one another, we're not going to treat one another any old type of way. We're going to treat, because isn't, isn't it written in your book? It says, ye are gods. So we ought to be treating each other as gods. Okay, children of the Most High. Go ahead and read. And you're going to hear a great voice out of heaven saying, we're talking about a great voice coming out of you, giving you an attaboy. you on the right track now. This is what I'm talking about. You loving and serving one another. Go ahead, read. Behold, the tabernacle of God is right here with me. I can see the manifestation of the Spirit coming out of me. Go ahead, read. Oh, he's with me everywhere I go. When I'm, when I'm walking around in the street, don't nobody know who I am, he's still with me. When I walk through these doors, oh, he's with me. When I go into a dangerous situation, the God of Israel is with me. When the doctor give me some bad news, something about my health, hey, you need to change this, change that, or whatever the case may be, the God of Israel is still with me. Because truly where there's life, there is hope. As long as I'm on the top side of this ground, then I know that the God of Israel is with me, and he loves me, and he's giving me another chance. Go ahead and read. We're going to be his people. That thing has not changed. It hasn't changed from Genesis all the way to Revelation. And whatever whatever chapter, Bishop Bobby J. Davis chapter of 2021, it hasn't changed. Read. And God himself shall be with us and be our God. And God, he's going to wipe away all these tears that we had. All those things that, we, that, that they used to make us cry when we know that we're forgiven by the God of Israel, he's going to wipe away those tears. Read. There should be no more death. There should be no more walking around with no hope. All right? We're going to walk around with some hope now in whatever situation that we're in. Read. Neither sorrow. We're not going to feel sorry for ourselves because we know that all things are of the God of Israel. And if it's all of the God of Israel, then the God of Israel can fix it for us. Go ahead and read. There's not going to be any sorrow. Read. Nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. Because things that used to hurt our feelings before are no longer going to hurt our feelings. Because we have hope. Read. Our passed away. And I hope you gained the thought. All right. All right. That wasn't good, was it? It was great. All right. By the way, in Detroit and Chicago, <laughs> I remember when he was quiet. He was real deep. He was quiet. But now, the God will really open up heaven. <laughs> All right. I ain't going to put on the time. I'll turn the first of all. Sister Pastor here, number one, and Hawthorne Smith. Amen. Thank you, Dr. I rise to give out the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, truly thank the God of Israel. Reverend Derek, let's give him another hand. Truly thank the God of Israel, the King of all Israel, be in our midst, and also the Queen. I'm also thanking the God of Israel for my wife being out here with me today. Truly thank all those who came out in this beautiful weather that we have in here in Michigan. We are so blessed. Blessed, blessed, blessed to be members of the spiritual church in the Zion. I'm thankful for the King of all Israel, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, and also the Queen being out, and all those who came to serve this great and mighty God of Israel. I'm not going to call on someone else for another congregation song, and then I'm going to come back and raise my hand. And we all go stand and greet the king of all this, Mr. Bobby Joe Davis. Amen. Tell him what you want. Yeah, the king is on. Tell him. Well, the king is on.
to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thank you to God for my life and thank you for yours. Thank you him for each and every one that's out on time that you're out. Showing that you're seeking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of a true and a living God. Uh, uh, you uh, get what the theme says. Yeah, man. Come and be blessed. Oh, yeah. Amen. That means you got to do something. Right. Amen. <laughs> and we did it, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Amen. We here. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. That, that it has come to pass that we came to service to be blessed. Amen. 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 I know that's why I came. <laughs> I, I came to be blessed and to be a blessing. Oh, yeah. Amen. And we thank you to God with us for that. Thank him for the beautiful devotional service we had. Thank him for the beautiful speaker. Amen. 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 Thank him for our, our marriage overseer, our sister overseer, Amen. our um, queen, and also our sister pastor. Amen. Amen. Each and every one of you tonight that came to be blessed. You know, sometimes you, you don't think about things, you know, but anytime you 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 make an effort to, to, to hear God's words or come where God is, you you you've done something. Amen. Uh, sometimes we think that what we do doesn't have a real significant meaning, but it means something. Amen. Yeah. You know, because I, I and I don't think that uh, my coming here or your coming here is in vain. Amen. Uh, a lot of people might not see it that way. I just write a nice service. But, 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 but it, it enhances my spiritual life. Oh, yes, Amen. Yes, yes. When I come and be blessed. Oh, Amen. Yes. Ain't that right? I mean, you got to sort of feel that way. Amen. You know what? It's got to be important to you. Right. Amen. If it ain't important to you, then you, you, you don't make a difference to you. Right. Amen. But when, when, when something is important to you, you, you you're going to make an effort. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. To come and be blessed. Oh, yes. Amen. I ain't doing it, Reverend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Sometimes you do your great work when you just call the bone. You have time to think. You have to let God use it. Yeah, Amen. That's right. And that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. Amen. And we're glad of that too. Amen. We're just glad to be in the in the midst of each other. Yeah. Amen. Where God is. Oh, yeah. Amen. Because God is wherever we are. Amen. Right. And we thank the God for ha having His Spirit. Oh, yeah. Amen. Because truly, God is a Spirit. Right. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. And that's why we come to be blessed. Amen. He brought us over the highways and byways. Amen. Because we wanted to be here. Amen. To be blessed. <laughs> Amen. I know I did. Amen. I mean, uh, why drive a hundred miles if I didn't expect something? Amen. It just don't make no sense to it. Amen. And, and, and sometimes when we, we kind of really think about how important it is, it makes us feel good. Because after all, you don't have to be, you have to be here. Amen. Amen. But you're here. Amen. Amen. And you're here for a reason. Oh, yeah. Amen. To get your blessing. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're just coming just, just coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. You came to get your blessing. Yeah. Amen. If I ask each and every one of you, why are you here tonight? I ain't gonna ask you, but I'm just asking. Saying, if, I, if you would ask them, why are you here tonight? Amen. You could have been looking at TV or whatever. Amen. Well, why are you here? Why are you on Zoom tonight? Amen. To hear God's word, right. to be blessed, right? right? I would thank that anyway. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. So that your servant God would not be in vain. Right. Amen. And we thank the God for the further. We're gonna give a couple of scriptures. That's it, because uh, uh, Dr. Alvin preached good. Okay. You know, yeah. but uh, I'm inspired, <laughs> and it's good to be inspired. Amen. Come and be blessed. Amen. And uh, and, and like I said, we here. Amen. I thank God that you here, like-minded people, come to church. Amen. To be blessed. Amen. And to be a participant 
in the service of the God of Israel. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Romans 15 and 4, 15 and 3, 15 and 4. Amen. And then our, then our lesson, start the first verse of our lesson. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. Because, um, like I said, it's, it's all been good. Amen. So I'm just going to be a witness to good. Amen. Uh, wow. It's amazing. Yeah. When you really think about how good it is. Amen. Uh, that you come, and I'm talking about you that understand my voice, and those that times are going to Zoom. When you, when you have a desire, amen, to hear God's word, amen. Uh, it's a good thing. Because everybody ain't got that desire. Some people don't give a dog on. Amen. As if God owes them something. Amen. But we're working on the building, ain't we? Amen. The other staff used to sing a song, you know. I forgot what it was. <laughs> building up a nation? No, that ain't it. But anyway, he's about working on the building. Amen. And, 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 and we are working on the building. Amen. Our spiritual house. Oh, yeah. Amen. Therefore, in every generation, we teach the God's son of man. Amen. Amen. And I taught that even before I was the man. All right. Amen. Amen. Because God always had a leader right. among his people. Right. Amen. And I thank God for that, too. Amen. That God didn't change. Amen. He's the same God in creation. Amen. It's a great you saying that son. Amen. Therefore, he said what he said in, in the scripture. He that believed on who? On me. All right, Reverend Jerry, Reverend, Dr. Talk a while ago, and we should have believed on him. Now I'm talking, and y'all want you to believe on me. Amen. On me, what you're looking at. Amen. If I said believe on Jesus, you ain't seen it. Amen. Amen. Unless, you look, if, if, unless your spiritual is mad enough to see the spirit of it in me. Amen. And you don't know the spirit of Jesus unless it's manifested in somebody else. Exactly. Amen. And they tell you, I got his spirit, and then you got to believe it. Amen. So your soul ain't seen it. Ain't that right? If right. I tell you God is in me, Amen. you got to believe that. All right. By recognizing that God is in you too. Right. Amen. Right. And, if, and God sees God. Stop, stop, stop. Amen. Therefore he said, believe on me now, as the scripture says. Similarity as the scripture says. Then out of you. That's the good part about it. You believe it, you get some results. Amen. Out of you shall flow. Rivers of living water. That's why we come to get blessed. Amen. Shall flow rivers of living water, and the living water we teach is peace and joy and health and happiness, all those things he read about. Should flow out of you and me. Amen. What does it say? For even Christ pleased not himself. Oh. No. Jesus didn't please himself. Amen. That should have been Jesus. Amen. Because Christ is his, his spirit. Of it. Amen. Amen. But Jesus didn't please himself. But as it is written. But as it is written. The reproaches, the reproaches of them that. That reproach. That reproach. He fell on me. He had responsibility. Amen. Because God sent him to do a good a job. Amen. Just like he sent me and you, some of y'all, all y'all too. Amen. We all have got a purpose in life. Amen. And the major purpose of that is to serve the God of Israel. And put him first in our life. And he's going to take, he will take care of the rest of it. Don't y'all believe that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, if you don't believe it, why are you here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why do you come to church? Why do you listen at the preacher if you don't believe it? Amen. Don't make no sense. Me. Amen. Back a long time ago, if I didn't believe on Elder Grace, I wouldn't be listening to him. <laughs> I wouldn't have come to church. Amen. But he convinced me, amen, that the God of Israel was in me. Amen. And it was in him. Amen. Because I believed in him before I believed in me. Okay. Amen. amen. Therefore, say what now? For whatsoever thing. Because whatsoever thing were written a long time ago. For we're written for our learning. We can't go back there. We can only read about it. Right. And see how God acts in, act in their lives today. And he hope he do the same for us today. Right. Amen. Right. So we can't, we can't live our lives through them back then. That's right. We got to live today. Today you hear my voice. Harden not your heart. We know. That we through patience. We through patience. Comfort, comfort, comfort of these scriptures. Might have hope. Might have what? Hope. Don't you have some hope? Oh, yeah. And the scripture says hope that is seen ain't hope. So you got to hope for what you got already. You hope for something you ain't got. Amen. And a lot of things I ain't got, I'm hoping for. Amen. Right, right. And that's why I'm here today. Amen. That boy said what? It's seen the multitude. Oh. Jesus. This is Jesus back in that day, right? Yeah, Jesus seen, a, seen the multitude of the people. He went up to the mountain. He, he got away from there. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Amen. He seen the multitude. Amen. But what he would really want to talk to was his disciples, his followers. Amen. Like I'm talking now to, to the followers. Amen. And he was talking to his followers, his disciples. And, and they went away from the, the crowd of people and went up on the mountain. Amen. Now I'm going to say it this way. We, we came to church so we can hear God's word. Amen. So this, this must be the mountain. Well, we're, we're related that way because we went back there. We got to relate up here. Amen. And we're, we're, we're not sitting uh, on, on, in the valley down there and, and Jesus on the mountain and we listen at it. We're at church. Listen at it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Seeing the mother too. He went up into the mountain. He went up to the what? Into the mountain. Ain't no sense getting too spiritual. See it this way. He went to church. Mm -hmm. I mean, he went mountain. He way up there. No, he ain't going nowhere except on a hill. <laughs> Amen. Something is just natural. Right. Ain't that right? Right. Amen. Not like like we, we ain't on a mountain. We at church. Right. On 9375 Amity Street. Street. Now you can sit at a mountain. You want to. Amen. But, but we wasn't back there. But he went on a natural mountain right. away so he can talk to his, his disciples, his followers. Amen. And we're here today so we can hear what God said to me to that to our followers. Right, Same thing, ain't it? Yes. Amen. All right. So we ain't gotta go. Sometimes some people go too spiritual. Amen. Something, you know, that's natural. Right. You know? Now. I ain't, I didn't spiritually come to number one here. I'm here. I'm here naturally. Can't you see me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And now that I I don't I didn't came up to, to the pulpit, right. and you can call the mountain you want to. Right. But you see the pulpit. Right. <laughs> Amen. Now listen to what I gotta say. Right. Like we're listening to the doctor. And, and and Jesus did what? He opened his mouth. If I don't open my mouth, do you know what I'll be saying? If Jesus didn't say, open his mouth, would that do? No, it wouldn't do nothing, did it? Amen. But he opened his mouth. Like, we're, we're opening our mouth today. Amen. And what is he doing? And he talked to people. Yeah. Ain't that what I'm doing? That what he did? We're teaching the people. Say it. Blessed are the poor in spirit. He's showing his followers the characteristic of what we should know about. Right. Amen. And let them know the rewards right. of certain characteristics. Right. Amen. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. Bless means highly favored, right? Right. And he was, he, and he was teaching them highly favored or uh, blessed are the poor in spirit. You know, you should always want to God. Right. Never get to the point that you got it all. Yeah. Amen. Right. They poor in spirit. You know, have, a, have a need for God. Yeah. Amen. And some people get to the point they, they got everything else. They don't have a need for God in there. Right. Yeah. It ain't important no more to come to church. It ain't important no more to attend the service. It ain't important no more. They, they do it when they get ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got too rich. Yeah. Amen. You better stay poor. <laughs> Amen. They have a, always have a need for God. Right. Amen. Bless God. And, you, and then you're highly favored if you like that. Oh, yeah. Bless God. I'm poor. Right. Like that. Amen. I need the God of Israel. I, I want him on my side. I, I want him in my life. I want him to lead and guide me. I want him to take care of me. I ain't got to the back that I'm so rich I can take care of myself. Amen. I need him. Don't you? Amen. What else it say? It's mine. If I want it, need it, it's mine. Amen. Isn't it good to feel that way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, Absolutely. So poor in spirit ain't talking about natural yeah. stuff. Exactly. Yeah. He's talking about having that need for exactly. God in your life. Exactly. Amen. And I need the God of God in my exactly. life. Amen. Ain't that right? right. Amen. When I say my prayer, I tell him I need you in my life. Amen. 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 All right, let's go. Blessed are they that mourn. Blessed are who? They that mourn. Blessed are they that what? Mourn. Why are you mourning? Amen. I'm mourning because that's the thing I should have did and I didn't do it. Okay. And now I'm sorry for it. Amen. And I want the God to, 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 to forgive me and, and give me another chance because I really, really want to be right. right. Amen. You got a son that I just want to be right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So I ain't, I ain't so big that I don't recognize that, that I got a, I got a, a, a sorrowful nature that, hey, I, I lied, but I 
daddy with me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I really did, but you know how it is. <laughs> Amen. Mourn. Amen. Have a, have a feeling of, of concern about your own behavior. That you want to please the God of real. Amen. But if, if you have that spirit that, that you really sincerely want to be do the right thing, you, you kind of mourn. You know, ain't you like crying because you lost somebody? Right. I'm, I'm talking about mourning, that, that acknowledging that, hey, hey I, I want to get better. Right. Amen. So, 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 you know, and I feel bad that I ain't better. Right. Amen. But I'm mourning to you, Holy Father. Right. Amen. So, blessed are they that mourn. Well, they shall be comforted. Right. God's going to pat you on the back. You're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But I think, but I think, hey, I, I got it all. Ain't nobody going to pay me no back. God ain't going to pay me no back because I don't need it. Uh -oh. Amen. But I realized that I have a need for God. Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be comforted. Amen. And I have been comforted. Ain't you? Oh, yeah. Amen. What else? Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the who? The meek. Humble. Oh, oh, oh. Amen. Blessed are the meek. Well, they shall inherit the earth. Right See, everything he said got a reward to it. Right. Amen. And we and, and as he was trying to teach his disciples, uh, the, the attributes that they should that they should know about and also teach. Amen. It tells you that you, if you if you have this particular spirit, you got something coming. Amen. So he said, Blessed are the meek, but they shall inherit the earth. You got it. That's right, I believe. Amen. Inherit me, you got something coming. Right. And we're here today, got something coming from God. Right. Amen. Right. If we stay in the right frame of mind. Right. Amen. What else it say? Blessed are they that do, which do hunger. Is you hungry? Is you, do you want it? Oh, yeah. Amen. I want it, don't you? Right. Amen. Blessed are they with hunger and thirst. After righteousness. After, after money. After righteousness. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It depends on what you what you're thirsting. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But, but we're talking about the spirit of God, right? Right. So blessed are they with hunger and thirst after righteousness. Amen. But, but they shall be filled. See the reward? You're gonna, you're gonna get full. Right. Amen. If you want it, God got it for you. Amen. And that's how you gotta feel, right? Right. What else to say? Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. Give, give other people a chance to. Right. Amen. Yeah. He talking to the disciples. And he also talking to the people that are going to hear them. Yeah. You know, and I'm saying the same thing. Amen. Blessed are the merciful. Amen. Some people don't have mercy on nobody. Amen. Except, except they want it. But they don't want to give it. Right. Amen. You got to be a giver. And then you'll get a receiver. You'll be a receiver. Amen. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall Cons no, considering other people. Right. Yeah. But they shall do what? Obtain mercy. If I'm, if I, if, if, if I be merciful. I'm going to get it back. Right. Amen. And I'm going to need it too. <laughs> Where's this thing? Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the who? Pure in heart. heart. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart. I, I was thinking of um, uh, the song, the second that you sang, Mother Sherry saying, you got to be real if you want God to bless you. You got to be real if you want him to hold your hand. You got to be real. I forgot the word. But y'all got it, right? Right. Yeah. Tag it up on me listen to me tonight. Hey, y'all got that song, don't you? <laughs> Dirty EP. <laughs> Amen. But you know what I'm talking about? You got to be true in your worship and service to the God of Israel. No, you got to be pure. Without any motive, without, just do it because that's what you want to do. Amen. And you'll see God. Ain't that a blessing? Yeah. There are a lot of people do that thing, but they ain't seen God yet. Right. They sing, they shout, they preach, they hop, but yeah. they still ain't seen God because their heart ain't pure. Amen. Yeah, right. oh, Amen. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's all appear in her. What are your motivations for serving God? Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Man, this is a beautiful thing. Isn't it? Yeah. Amen. When you can really see him. Yeah. We say, we say, we say, when you appear, we should see him as he is. Yeah. Amen. And when we see God, then we, we, we will mistake him for something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Right, yeah. And you'll know the truth. Right. And the truth will set you free. Right. Amen. He will say, besides, you ain't free. You can be free. Right. Amen. Because exactly. you're seeing God. Yeah. And you yeah. see him just as he is. Right. Amen. One day, isn't that wonderful? Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, we won't we'll, we'll be sitting in the pulpit, in the choir stand. We'll blind is the, the back. Amen. 
Praising God blind. <laughs> Blessed. Highly favored. Yeah. Are the one that's really, really sincere. Yeah. In their service towards the God of Rhythm. Amen. And then you begin your eyes open. Yeah. And then you begin to see him. Yeah. Amen. And then when, when other folks are looking at evil, you'll see God. When other folks are looking at the mistakes of other people, you'll see God. When other people are looking at all the other things, you will see God. There you go. Ain't that wonderful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Amen. And regardless of what's coming on, light, dark, whatever it is, you will see God. Yeah. And you have a certain peace about you. Yeah. Amen. Because you'll see God. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Ain't that wonderful? Oh, yeah. Amen. Hey, all right. That's what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. That's the spiritual hack that we want to get to. Amen. Right. And stay there in our old er everyday life. Right. Hey, Amen. So we'll, we'll follow pieces when something happens. Right. Amen. Because we're going to see God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My goodness. All right, let's go. Okay, get, Come on. What else is oh. it? That's it? Okay, blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are the who? Peacemakers. Peacemakers. You know what a peacemaker? Sometimes, you know, a peacemaker just means you shut your mouth. Right. Amen. That's it. That's it. True. Mm. True. Yeah. Somebody talk about it? Mm. Okay. Amen. Yeah. True or not true? Right. Don't make a difference. You're a peacemaker. You're going to always do things to turn to make peace. Oh my Amen. We, we bring harmony to a situation. Amen. Because people will bring you stuff. Uh -huh. Amen. You think you got some peace. You listen to some folk that run your peace. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You'll forget who you were. Right. I was people. What, what happened? Right. <laughs> you, you listen to somebody. <laughs> right. Amen. Or you had your own thoughts about things that wasn't right. Amen. And then not only they, the they people, you ain't people. Right. Amen. Right. And the greatest peace you can have is with your own, own self. Exactly. Right. Amen. Oh my God. Because you don't know exactly what can make other folks peace. It's right. God. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Some people be in hell because that's, they put yourself there. Right. Amen. All right. By your thinking. Right. You can exactly. think yourself in hell. Right. Right. Amen. Yeah. I done done it before in my life. I, Amen. Just thank you. Don't know what the heck I'm thinking about. Just thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I do know what I'm thinking about, but it wasn't nothing to bring peace. Right. Amen. Amen. No more. <laughs> I know about that. Yeah. Amen. All right. What else you say, honey? But they shall be called the children of God. We're going to be called who? The children so, of so God. So if we peacemakers, we'll be called the, the children, children of God. God. Ain't that something to be called for? All right, man. And God's children is Israel. Amen. Amen. That's it? No. One more. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Blessed are they which persecuted for what? Righteousness sake. You're blessed. Right? You mad at somebody because they persecuted you and you doing right. Uh, Keep on doing right. Because you're blessed. Amen. You're the prosecutor. That's a different thing. Right. <laughs> blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Persecuted for righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. See, you always got something coming if you do the right thing. Right. If you think the right way, you always got some good coming. And that's what he was trying to tell his disciples. Amen. And that's what I'm saying today. We're saying today. What does it say? Blessed are ye. Blessed are you. When men shall revile you. When people shall revile you. And persecute you. And persecute you. And talk about you. And look at them going to church. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. And revile you. And say all manner of evil things against you. And say all manner of evil things against you. Falsely. Falsely. Amen. Well, if they talk about you for going to church, it should be true. <laughs> ain't that right? Yeah, I'm going to church. Amen. But if you ain't going to church and they talk about you, then you condemn. <laughs> Amen. Bless that they would persecute you falsely for my, for what? Blessed are, are you when men shall revile you and yeah. persecute you yeah. and shall say all manner of evil against you yeah. falsely for my sake. Rejoice. For whose sake? For my sake. That was Jesus talking. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bible's all right. Look at him. <laughs> you hit it. He think he's something. Look at him. Look at him. There's brown nose in him. <laughs> Amen. Can you stand to be blessed? That's the point. Can you stand to be blessed? Yeah. Can you stand the heat you're going to get for serving the God of Israel? Right. Can you stand the heat you're going to get for following me? Right. Because I'm the, I'm the generation leader today. Exactly. Amen. 
Yeah. And, and before me, it was another one, another one, another one. Right, right. Hey, amen. Can you, can you stand the heat? Can you stand the heat? Yeah. Amen. Talk about me too much, they get you. <laughs> Amen. But you know what I thought about this? I used to deny. Yeah. As long as I'm in the world, I'm 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 here. I'm a leader. Okay. But I used to, I used to stay away from that because I wanted people to like me. You know, I, I and I didn't want to try to put myself. But there's no denying. Amen. Bishop Wiley left me here. Right. <laughs> Amen. So what am I going to do? Call it down to it? No. Amen. Good, bad, or ugly, I, here I am. Amen. Amen. And so, so those that uh, is a follower of me, which is a follower of the teaching, amen, you may be persecuted for it. Oh, yeah. Amen. Call all kind of names because you're following the man. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, think about it. Who is Jesus? The man. <laughs> Who is Mr. Haywood? The man. Who is what? All of them. The there was men of God, right? Right. The world made Jesus God, but we don't make Jesus God. No. He was a son of God. Right. Amen. And he was sent by God. Right. Amen. And people that don't even know him believe that. And here's one you do know, some people don't want to believe it. I know. Amen. Well, it's too bad, ain't it? <laughs> All right, let's finish up now. Rejoice. We ought to do what? Rejoice. I'm glad and be that, 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 that you talk about me. Amen. Because I'm a follower. I'm glad that you don't like it because I'm in the spirit church of none. Amen. I'm going to rejoice because I got a reward. Right. Amen. And you got to believe that. I'm getting ready to sit down now. But you got to believe that your, your, your work in Israel is not in vain. And whatever you're doing for the God of Israel, you got a reward coming. Amen. And people don't want to, they might not see it, but you got to see it. You got to believe in your own salvation. Amen. That what you do in the church and for the God of Israel, God going to bless you for it. And, and, you're, and you're doing it is not in vain. You got to believe that yourself. Amen. That's what I said. Otherwise, you won't do it. And, you, and if you do do it, you won't do it real. Amen. What? That's Rejoice it. and be exceedingly glad. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward. For great is what? Your reward. You see, the whole thing we're talking about uh, uh, action and reward. An action and a reward. Same thing is true today. An action and a reward. Merciful, peaceful, merciful, peacemaker, see, humble, all these things, there's a reward to it. And we got a reward today, don't we? Here it is, here it is, here it is. You got to believe it. <laughs> uh, it's no use if you don't believe it. Why would you be peaceful uh, if you don't believe that you're going to obtain peace? Why would you be merciful? You don't believe you would attain mercy. You know? Why would you be humble and meek if you don't believe that's a reward? Amen. So we, you and I got to have a strong belief in what we're doing. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. And that's something all over you. So we got to we have a strong belief in what we're doing. Right. Amen. That our service to the God of Israel is not in vain. I don't care who don't like it. Right. Amen. Exactly. All right. Close the book. That's good. <laughs> I ain't meant to go that far. So, come like we have done today and be blessed. Do you feel like that you're blessed? You know? Yeah. See? I mean, I feel like that I'm blessed. Do you feel like you're blessed? That's the feeling we got to have in our service to the God of Israel. Yeah. That he will bless us. He will answer our call. Amen. And we ourselves got to be willing to make the sacrifice and come to be blessed. And God bless you. May he keep you. Amen. May he put his arms around you and give you peace. And may you leave here tonight rejoicing yeah. that I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. Can I get a witness now? <laughs> I'm blessed. Amen. More than blessed. Amen. Regardless of what my station in life is. Amen. I'm blessed, amen, because I still got life. And where there's life, there's a chance to get more blessings. Ain't that right? Amen. And I'm getting excited now, amen. There's a blessing for me, and there's one for you. Amen. And I, and I feel good about it. 
ain't sad about it. I feel good about it. Amen. Because my God is a blessing business. Amen. And he has blessed me. Amen. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Amen. Ain't that right? <laughs> Amen. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, 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 Amen. Amen. But, 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 but I just can't describe sometimes how I feel. And I can imagine how you would feel oh, yeah. when you lift lifted up in the spirit. Oh, yeah. And nothing yeah. negative don't matter no more. Amen. All thing matter is to have that good feeling yeah. about the God of Israel. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Come on, Dr. Amen. Amen. Give our rise, give our Holy Father, the King of all this. Let's give our King another hand. Oh, yeah. We thank the God of Israel for him and all the blessings that he bestowed upon us. We thank the God of us for the day. At this time, we're going to call for our demonstrator of the hour. Oh, yeah. We're going to have Dr. King this time because he had given me, let me be the demonstrator. Let's give him a hand as he comes to our heart. Dr. King. Our teacher. And my demonstration. All right. Uh, let's see a demonstration of song. Something try to get heavy in your mind. Speaking about it. When something try to get heavy in your minds, mm -hmm. concentrate on the King of Israel. All right. Thank you. All right. Amen. 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 Amen.
Bobby Joe Davis, King of our Israel and Pastor, Bishop Tillman Oliver, the Americas Overseer, Evangelist Elder Brian Mother Gloria Davis, Queen of Israel, Evangelist Elder Hawthorne Smith, Assistant Pastor, Trustee Andre Harris, Chairman of the Deacon Board, Trustee James Shepherd, Assistant Chairman of the Deacon Board, and I, Reverend Mother Barbara Freeman, reading the financial report and the envelopes. Let's cheer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one for the service back in the hands of our own, Reverend Jesse King. It's time to have a closing service because my own Reverend Daniel. <laughs> Derek Barnett. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, uh, to go to the closing ceremony, asking all persons to stand. Amen. Put your right hands over your heart, your minds, and the King of all Israel as we go to the closing ceremony. I love him, yes. Shall enter, and then we shall enter to thy everlasting kingdom, which has no end. No this, yes, and all other blessings, and all other blessings. blessings. Thou seest we need. Thou thou see we, need. need. we ask the name of the Father, we ask the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Let's all get in real quick. Reconnect. And be blessed.